Hey, my name is Justin, and this is The Art of Repair. And today we're going to go over a little bit of cable origami. Cable origami? No, 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 no. I'm not doing that today. I hate doing iPads. No, we're not talking about the power volume flex. Today we're talking about iPhone batteries everybody's favorite subject. And if you've ever tried to put an iPhone battery in and that battery was new, you like that, new, um, sometimes you'll come to find that they'll come in and the cable's gonna be all flat. It's not gonna be like the one that came in the device. And you know, I've seen people do everything with these batteries. Like, I'll open up phones and the battery will be sitting on top like that. I mean, I've got some that, you know, I've, I've had them come in, they're, they're, they're ripping and they're under it and they're, they're, they're bent and they're all jacked up in every which direction, okay? And today we're gonna solve that. I'm done seeing it. So I'm gonna show you how to do it right because this is a very, very extra simple maneuver, okay? So we're gonna jump over here to the microscope for a second. We're gonna take a look-see here. And we can see our little iPhone cable. All right, this little bitty cable right here is the cause of so much frustration. It just kills me. You know, I, I get stuff in all the time that just makes me want to just curl up and just, what the heck? All right, so here we go. This one is super simple. Let's take a look at how thick the battery is. Okay, you see that? That thickness right there? All right, so now that we know how thick the battery is, we can see right here. There's, there's actually almost, it's almost segmented. Well, how about that? All right, but this isn't really something you're gonna see unless you look at it up close, okay? So we can see that it's segmented, and man, that's so weird that the thickness of this is, man, it's, it's almost like that thickness corresponds directly to the battery. Huh, well, if that's the case, then all we really need to do to make sure this thing works properly is bend it properly, a little bit of cable origami, okay? So what I'm gonna do, I don't know if my microscope's gonna show this. Yeah, I don't think so. We're gonna take it, and we're gonna grab it right there. Okay, you see that's the thickness of the battery? And we're gonna bend it with our tweezers, flat, so that it bends evenly. Once it's bent, we can continue bending it with our finger if we need to. Okay, okay. Well, how about that? It's in the right direction now. And then once you've done that, there you go. All you have to do is bend this just a little bit down, okay? This will sit directly in that little cubby, you know, where between the battery and the actual motherboard where things get stuck and, you know, people start to freak out and they can't get it to sit in there. It's just going to sit directly in there and it's just going to click on in. It's that easy. It's, it's, it's not that big a deal. Um, but, you know, it is a big deal because of how much I see that it's not done correctly. Just so you know, people do ridiculous things with batteries. If you go back and check out my old CTIA video where I went back and, you know, I, I opened a device up to help a gentleman out, you'll see that, bam, the battery wasn't put in appropriately. It was put in completely wrong. So it is an issue. And, you know, I, I see this kind of issue coming out of places that it shouldn't. Okay, just the same as I see people still prying up batteries. It's a thing, and it shouldn't be. So hopefully you learned something today. My name's Justin. This was The Art of Repair. Don't forget to like. Don't forget to subscribe. Make sure you hit that notification bell, and have a wonderful day. I'll catch you next time. Don't forget, guys, if you're interested in any of the tools I use, check out the description below. I even have my own custom tools that I sell down there as well that literally do not exist anywhere else on the planet except from the art of repair. I also have a Patreon where you can help support the channel so I can create even better high quality content.